Hello everybody, Wolf from Wolf Raven Gaming, and we are going to continue once again, this time with chapter 1.5 of the night storyline, Sabotage. Now in this particular mission, we get to play the Peacekeeper. This is a class I played most in the beta. They do not take hits very well, so you got to move a lot. Uh, let's see if we can't find something a little better for you. Maximum health? Yeah, I think maximum health will work. Uh, they can do a lot of damage if you're quick, but it's in small little amounts. And yeah, watch and see. I am of course out of practice. I have not really played the Peacekeeper much since the beta. I've been playing with the Warden and the Lawbringer, and I've actually been thinking about trying the uh, Orochi and the what the hell is he called? The Viking with the shield. Our army needed passage. The Warborn can be creative when they want to be. But if you're up for a challenge, Peacekeeper is probably a good one to play for you. Um, you get good at any of the classes in this game, you're going to find they look like they're broken to other people. Because you can do stuff that they just don't expect. Now, especially if you're playing a light armored class, it is probably easier to use your environment. Whether it's campfires, or cliffs, or... spike walls, anything like that. Jumping down on your enemy. There's a couple a ways you can do this mission. To clear the way, so of course I obeyed. You can actually go through and kill everybody if you want. Or you can be sneaky. Stand up here and watch them. Now you Stone could would be dead if not for that warden. <laughs> you could jump down and kill these guys. Or you can just wait till they've gone by. Do your jump attack and keep going without even bothering to fight them. This one's actually a really neat mission because it gives you that option. That guy probably just easier to kill. Same with this guy. Now these guys, there's not really a way around them. You're gonna have to fight them. Probably the easiest way is to go over here and go over. Biggest weakness, of course, for the Peacekeeper is that she doesn't have a constant block like all the Assassin classes. She's got her... Oh, why did you not keep your attack up? She doesn't have a constant attack. you got to hit your attack at the right time. Or your uh, defense. Her defense fades away. You can see it happen. She has a neutral stance slowly fades away and when it's gone she doesn't block anything from that direction you got to keep moving it that's why a lot of people you see doing it do this shit which doesn't really work all it does is uh well i guess it confuses your enemy a little bit now if you run up here cloud has withered this place without stopping oh shit bad timing on that one First time I came up here, there was only one guy. I thought hopefully that that would be the same this time too. Warborn should have counterattacked by now. Come on. There we go. Now 
as I said, a little out of practice. Again, if you go down below, there's some breakables down there, and there's a couple guys to fight. Or you can just keep running. Ignore that guy. Keep running up higher. You'll get up here. There's two people. You grab him. Don't do that. Grab him and throw him that way. And that guy will die. And this one will not die unless you hit them on the way over there. Apollyon was right. The cold is keeping the warborn at bay. Where did you even come from? So as you can see, you can sneak around a lot of this. There's two paths to take in this one. Again, you can go this way. There's more people to fight down here. Over there, it's the other way up is what it is. If you want to kill everybody, get all the experience, go ahead. Otherwise, you can sneak up this ladder. And if your timing is right, there will be one person to fight here. No, nope. not the right timing. Not at all. And there's ropes all the way around the end, so there's no easy way to get rid of them either. <laughs> The trick to uh Oh I wonder who will betray that warden. The trick is movement when you're playing the Peacekeeper. You gotta keep dodging, keep moving around. Use your environment because these guys are gonna be able to take more damage than you most of the time. Ah, that was the wrong way. There's all kinds of stuff you can throw people into in this game. There's spikes, there's fire, uh, steam pits in one level. Computer, of course, is nowhere near what playing other players is like. But the storyline gives you a good feel for how each of the characters moves. And if you Stone really want a challenge in this, I think. Rude, but trustworthy. If you really want a challenge in this mode, go and play on uh, realistic mode. You don't even get the indicators to tell you which way you're blocking or anything like that. More people over there, more breakables. Again, I already got them, so I'm not going after them this time. Another good thing to do if you're playing a peacekeeper is to uh, wait for them to do a really slow, big, heavy attack and then jump in with a couple lights. Uh, sometimes they'll soak it, sometimes they won't. It takes a matter of knowing which characters you're fighting. And if they glow when they're doing their attack, it's probably just easier to either parry it or dodge out of the way.
Getting inside was easier than I expected. example of one that just wouldn't let you go. You guys really just let your buddy die? You need to bleed. More collectibles up there, but first we're going to come over here and lock them in. Otherwise, they keep coming out this door. I Found that out the sure hard way. Was going to work. There's your collectibles up there. Then if we go over this way, there's another berserker to fight. Who glitched out on me last time. Should pull that one, I think. Nothing like sabotaging machinery. Feeling we're gonna find out. Lever. Now where is the central mechanism? Definitely a saboteur. If I understood this contraption, raising the elevator now should be exciting. So I got way too aggressive for playing a peacekeeper. Now what are you up to here? <laughs> Little salute as she runs away. That's funny. number on their meat hall, didn't she? Path's clear. Impressive. Don't encourage her. <laughs> 